Hello, my name is Ana Sevilla and I belong to the Camille Research Group of the Department of Applied Linguistics at the Universidad Politécnica de Valencia. This presentation is going to show you how to write a story. It will also provide you with a modal answer as well as some useful tips. In your English classes, as well as in official B2 level examinations such as the first certificate in English, you might be asked to write a story. You can imagine that you are going to write this story for a magazine, for a short story competition, etc. This information might be provided in the instructions of an exercise. You might be provided with a topic or you might be given freedom to choose a topic. For example, something you like or something you know a lot about. You might be given the beginning or the end of a story and in that case what you should do is to imagine and write the rest of the story, either the beginning of the story or the end. The story might be about you or about somebody else, which means that you would be able to choose between telling a true story or a fictional story, and you would have to use the first person singular or plural, or the third person singular or plural if you are talking about other people. These model answers of a story, together with some tips, might help you to write your story. Listen and read carefully as you listen and try to think of more examples as you go. Use interesting vocabulary like toast or swan in a story about tennis. Don't write about a topic if you don't know some specific vocabulary about that topic. For example, in a story about tennis, you should use words such as racket, serve, ace, etc. Let's listen to the first example. I wanted to do my best. I didn't want to lose. Now finally it was time to play. I took the ball out of my pocket, tossed it into the air, swung my racket back and served the first of six aces. Very good. You should use phrases to show when things happened in your story. For example, almost eight months before, by the beginning of August, don't make mistakes with narrative tenses. If you are talking about the present, stick to the present. If you are talking about the past, don't mix the past and present and future unless you have a reason to do that. Here's another example. Almost eight months before my dreams had come true, when I had been chosen for the team. By the beginning of August we had played against all the other tennis clubs in our region, except the top club from the capital. If we beat them, we would be the champions. Good. It is also advisable to try to create some suspense, as in the example. When I got up the day we were supposed to play our match, it was pouring. The courts were like swimming pools. I had to wait another three weeks to face my opponent across the net. All the other members of our team had won their matches and I knew the championships depended on me. Here's another example. It was the best match I have ever played in my life. My forehands were powerful and my backhands were accurate. At last it was match point. My serve whistled past my opponent and the championship was ours. Notice how the suspense is being created in this example. Here there are some useful phrases and expressions that you can see in the following examples. This is example one. I was eating and Jane was sunbathing when we first saw the shark. Number two. I was just about to open the door when I heard a shout from the kitchen. Number three. By the time I got to the cinema, the film had already started. Number four. As soon as Mary told John that she was really sick, he took her to the hospital. Number five. We had been watching TV just before you came in. Number six. It wasn't until I travelled abo abroad that I realised how much I needed to improve my English. Number seven. After waiting some time, I decided to go back home. Number ten. A few seconds later, there was panic. And finally, number eleven. Eventually, nobody was harmed. Well, when you are asked to write a story, the first thing you need to think of is the topic, one you know a lot about or one you like. As we said before, 
you should bear in mind the person. Whether you are talking about yourself, in that case you should use the first person singular, about yourself together with other people, in that case it should be the, f the first person plural, and if you are talking about other people, you should use the third person, either singular or plural. Try to use interesting vocabulary. Write about a topic that you know some specific vocabulary about. Use time phrases and expressions. Also, use the appropriate tense. Try to create some suspense and don't forget to take a look at the useful phrases and expressions section at this presentation in order to learn how to use some of these expressions. Thank you very much for your attention.